Althea says she feels like a prisoner trapped in an abusive, rage-filled relationship with her partner of 15 years, Kevin. Not f***ing similar! Not f***ing similar! I don't care! I'll give you $100,000! What does it matter? I'll burn down the f***ing house! You sure don't want me around! Joining us right now is Dr. Bradley Jabor. And he is, in my opinion, my informed opinion, the world's leading neuroradiologist with more than 20 years in practice. He's an expert on the impact that trauma can have on the brain, and he has pioneered cutting-edge breakthroughs in imaging. Yesterday, he did an MRI on Kevin's brain, so he went to his new medical imaging center in Beverly Hills, adjacent to Cedar sinai Hospital, and he used state-of-the-art equipment. Let's take a quick look. I'm here today to get an MRI to find out what's going on inside my head. Great to meet you. The main history seems to be that you're struggling a little bit with controlling your emotions. We have the tools now to look not only at the architecture of the brain, but also at mechanisms that are not working. I'm only nervous about seeing the outcome. I'm quite looking forward to having the tests. Dr. Jabour, in full disclosure, I am not only a fan, I am a, a patient. In fact, I think I have my own file drawer <laughs> over there. I got MRIs on my neck, shoulders, knees. I mean, we've, you've done more stuff on me probably than anybody. And, uh, you know, my specialty when I practice is brain and central nervous system. So we've actually consulted on cases. Uh, where we've looked at images and you and I have discussed things and I've just been blown away by the technology you have because you guys are cutting edge. And you spent time yesterday uh, doing these studies on Kevin. Now first, and when I say you guys have probably never seen anything like this, but this is the kind of imaging you start out where it actually looks like him. Because you, you look at the screen, tell us what we're seeing. So we see, this is using a 3T MR. It's a real um, representation of Kevin's brain. We peel through the skin, you can actually recognize him, to see the brain. Then we look into the wiring mechanism inside the brain, which we can then measure a thing called fractional anisotropy to measure the actual wires and whether they have shrunk or been damaged. And in his case, we see that he has lost his FA numbers have gone down significantly, meaning that he has lost white matter integrity. If there is disruption here, this can express itself behaviorally. Yes. Let's go to the next image, which looks at some of the scarring in the brain. This is Kevin's brain. He's got four areas of, of scar tissue in the brain, which really represent damage to the axons, axonal shear injury. And tell us about what you're seeing in the white space at the front here. The brain is generally closer to that, and you don't have the CSF or the fluid being so prominent. So if there was not atrophy here, then the cerebral spinal fluid would not be as prominent here, and this would be all the way out to the edge. Correct. OK, tell us what we're seeing here. So what we're able to do is, is measure the rate of or the amount of blood being utilized in the brain, and where there's good utilization, it's red, yellow, red is most, green and yellow slightly less, and black and blue means diminished blood flow. This okay, is a so normal, this is normal. Patient, whereas uh, Kevin has patchy areas of almost no, no uh, or minimal flow, which is an indication that the metabolism of the brain diffusely is not performing optimally. This yellow area here tells us that when his brain is at rest, it's revving itself in a very negative way. This brain is revving up but not performing. You're seeing very clear brain damage and, and, and chronic uh, brain changes structurally that explain exactly what's going on here, correct? Yeah, yes, I, I believe that what you've got is um, disruption not only of the connectivity in the brain between the various hubs. It's a very delicate organism, the brain, with a lot of key areas. If one of them is disrupted, it throws the whole thing out of sync. Left alone, is this going to stabilize, get better, or get worse? It, it's unlikely to get better. 